Well, let's tell you about uh, Chris who died. He became known to audiences around the world when he starred in the smash hit film Bridesmaid ten years ago, one which makes you continually oh, I love it. laugh. I've seen it so many times. Yeah. I laugh every single time. Love it, love it. Uh, Chris is now swapping the screen for the stage, actually. That's why he's back in London, starring in Constellations with Anna Maxwell Martin, who's in Line of Duty, of course. Um, and they're at the Vaudeville Theatre. It's it's an interesting concept, this one. Um, Constellations. So this is about a couple and the various stages of their relationship. That's How would right. You describe we kind it? of yeah, we we meet them at the very start where they meet at a barbecue. And that goes well and then it goes badly, and then there's some infidelity, and we kind of follow them through the entire course of their relationship. But we tell it while also introducing the theory of the multiverse. The idea that we are part of this giant system where every decision that you make and every decision that you don't make is played out in another universe that we that we sometimes see. Oh, OK, so I'm trying to get my brain around. Yes, it. it's so a, a big decision concept. So a decision, well, they could have done, gone this way or that way. In so a kind of a sliding doors kind yeah. of a way, where it's like when they meet at the start, it goes terribly, but then we just... Lights go off and we start the scene again and it goes, he puts on his charming self and they kind of connect and then we go through the play like ironing like that where sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and it's kind of based on the idea, I suppose, that we are all very different people depending on, depending on how we've uh, experienced life. If we've had a good childhood, if we've had illness and all of these yeah. things can have huge effect on how we behave later on. Yeah. And also the concept of two human beings. Yes. <laughs> Gelling. That's right. Together. It's, it's almost impossible. <laughs> so it's cosmic in, in its romance. Now you fascinate me in terms of your life experience because you're from a place called Boyle in Roscommon in Ireland. On the Ross! <laughs> very rural. Yes. Very rural. And yet, my friend, there you are. You've reached the heady heights of uh, Hollywood. Um, as a result, how, why, what was the break? What, what happened? Was it bridesmaids? Was how it did you the, get yeah, to was bridesmaids? It the dream when you I were made a, a, a deal with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just kind of obviously I did the IT crowd here first, and that kind of led on to some other things. And actually, the director of bridesmaids was a big um, British comedy fan, and he enjoyed uh, the IT crowd. So that was kind of how I got that meeting, and it just kind of like that, like the play, it just kind of. This little thing led to that little thing, and then it led to bigger things. But you wanted to be an actor when you were a kid. You no, 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 not really. I think I want. I don't know what I wanted to do. Really, played a lot of football and things like that. Went to college to study politics, and ended up in the drama society, kind of doing plays the whole time I was there, and very little studying. But it kind of served me well. And then went to drama school here. So. It was a kind of succession of lovely accidents. Yeah. And is it right you didn't even read the script of Bridesmaids? Well, no, not when, not when I had done the audition. As you often, you don't get the scripts, really, especially when you're not, like, um, very well known. They kind of send you pages, so I went in with the pages. And then I thought it had gone well enough, and I got the role, and I thought, well, I'll just try not reading any of the rest of the stuff that I'm not in and <laughs> see if it just focuses the mind a bit. Yeah. But you see, how, how, when, they, when they see you in America, or, or casting agents in general, yes. um, it could be very easy to cast you as the Irishman all sure. the time. But you're not. How do they see you? How did you overcome that stereotypical casting? Well, I feel like I do... I try and play Irish characters as often as I can, but they're not written as Irish characters. I just kind of make them Irish, because yes. my experience <laughs> of travelling around is that we're, we're everywhere, right. well. whether you like it or not, Ruth. And, uh, <laughs> I like it. And, no, I like I know it. you do. Um, so I feel like I've I've been lucky enough to play loads of different types of characters, but I always try and relate them to people from home. Yeah, people who you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So there's a lot of people in Boyle featuring in a lot of productions. <laughs> so they know. They know. They know who they are. Yeah. They know. I mean, they're usually kind of lovable, or at least. Amiable characters, uh -huh. so not too many. But you have a great back catalogue of work, Chris, which I think people should look and see the variation of it and, and enjoy you more. Because, you know, you may not be known to everyone. They're the sort of guy that they may know your face, they don't know your name type thing. Which is, which is ideal, yeah. I think, as far as... A bit of success, not too much fame, is, is the sweet spot. The sweet but spot. But do you mind people talking about Bridesmaids? Because I am a huge fan of Bridesmaids, and so many people I know have seen it more than once. Um, yeah. And do you know, because, you know, when you're doing other work, you think, oh, I do have to go back to Bridesmaids all the time. Well, I, I, I don't mind talking... Like, I love the film, and I love, genuinely love being part of it and the success that it had for, the, for those incredibly funny women. 
So I don't, like there are definitely things that, it's a great one. And I'm so happy that people enjoy it. I mean, obviously when I'm trying to kind of promote a play, I'd like to talk about the play. <laughs> Let's go back to that. <laughs> but, but no, I, and I don't mean that in a mean way. It's kind of like, it's, I, I'm so proud of the, of the film. Yeah. And if it's on TV, I'll probably watch a bit of it. Yeah. Good lad. Um, who would come along to, to see uh, Constellations? Because there's not many of you on stage. Is it only the two of you? That's right. There's just oh. myself and Anna Maxwell Martin, who is glorious in this play. Oh, nobody likes her. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, after, after that line of duty oh. business. She's got it. You see, that's how good an actor she is. Yeah. Yeah. Because she is as sweet a person. Um, but that's us there, God, we look holding hands, the whole shebang. There's no furniture, there's no props, there's a bunch of balloons, and that's really all we have to go on. That's, that's in our big role. pressure, isn't it? It's a lot. It's a lot of words, but it's funny, really funny, and then it's really tragic. And uh, people have been... We only started previews a few days ago, but the audiences are loving it. Yeah. Well, I think people are loving being back at the theatre. You must be totally. loving being back at the theatre. Um, and if there's more than one... Uh, well, more yeah, than one couple. COVID That's one. right. We've had four casts over the course. It's been running for a couple of months. We had Peter Capaldi and Zoe Wanamaker and Sheila Atom and um, Ivano Jeremiah. And now we have myself and Anna are on with uh, Omari Douglas and Russell um, Tovey. And we kind of do alternative days. Essentially, we did a bunch of casts for COVID reasons, like you say, just in case anybody got pinged and then the production would be off. And you can't be having that, really. So this has kind of worked out great. We haven't had any cases so far, thank yeah. God. And do you, I presume then you have to bubble, you can't see the other actors, I'm That's assuming. right. No, yeah. we can't hang out. So I've kind of waved at them from um, backstage, but haven't been kind of 20 yards within them in a couple and of months. And how long is Constellations running? So how long are you in it? We're up, in, up until the 12th of September. Yeah. So we start officially, I guess, on Thursday, tom tomorrow, or what? What day is this? Today's Wednesday. Today, I'm looking there. Am I wrong? Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Hey. I only said that to test Tuesday everyone. Tuesday the 10th. <laughs> We're all over it. But it's going great. And we run, I suppose, for just over a month. Yeah. Uh, do you ever sit... Can, can you actually watch the other actors performing your roles? Yeah. Well, this is the thing. I'm very, very... I want to, desperately, yes. to see yes. if I'm missing anything. <laughs> missing any of the jokes or whatever. But you can't really, it would kind of, at, at this early stage, it would, you don't want it to influence what you're doing yourself. So I, for curiosity, I'll probably do it in a few weeks when I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of setting stone a bit more, but I'm desperate to, I've heard, I've heard they're great. So you're back here for, for work, but yes. you and the family live in, in LA. That's right. So how was the lockdown experience for you all? It was, you know, intense, I suppose, as it was for everyone. But we did, yeah, it was, it was good. We were in California for all of 2020. And the boys, I suppose, went from being like two and four and now they're four and six. So it's been a lot of parenting and a lot of, a lot of playing, a lot of Play-Doh and a <laughs> lot of dinosaurs. Didn't know there were so many dinosaurs or that I needed to have so many favourites. <laughs> um, but that was grand. And then we were in Canada for six months with work from the start of the year this year. And they had just gone into their lockdown when we arrived. So that was fairly intense as well. A lot of uh, stay at home orders and whatnot. And now we're here and trying to get to Ireland. Yeah. And, you know, restrictions change and all that make it hard when yeah. you're in a play, but any minute now. But Chris, that's a lot to juggle. Family life, professional life, whether you're going to be a performer, whether you're going to be a writer, whether you're going to be a producer, what country you're going to do it in and whatever, that must be a lot of pressure. Um, mostly on Dawn, you know, she takes care of most of the administration. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're kind of getting through it together, but it's, um, yeah, it's been a lot, but you know, it's been a lot for everybody. Yeah. yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Um, you've got another film coming out, The Starling. Oh, yes, with Melissa, actually. Melissa from, McCarthy, that's yeah. That's right. Who was also in Bridesmaids. That's right. Yeah. And she, we play a married couple in that one um, who experienced a terrible, terrible loss. But it's very... It's a heartbreaking film again, but very funny. Melissa's yeah. just top-notch. Yeah. Well, Chris, keep on doing what you're doing. Whatever Thank you're you. doing, you're doing it very, very well. Uh, he plays Roland in the West End uh, show Constellations, and uh, that is at the Vaudeville Theatre. He's on stage tonight. Tonight. That's right. As it's 7.30. Well. Straight there. 7.30. Be there at the square. <laughs> uh, great stuff, Chris. Pleasure meeting you. Cheers. Continued nice success. You, Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed.